What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your girl, Belina B. And I'm back. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. And I'm back in this kitchen. <laughs> I'm back in the kitchen with another video for you guys. Okay? I told y'all reactions. I love my reaction makers. No disrespect to my reaction makers. I don't want any of uh, my... Let me just come out and say that. I don't want any of my reaction uh, video makers to think that I'm, um, because I'm, I don't want to do reactions anymore. I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I'm not with you. I'm not rolling with you. I'm rolling with you. Like I said, everything the reactors say is spot on. Oh my God, there's a fly in here, y'all. See, this is why people, you need to kill all the flies floating around in your house before you turn on the camera. Kill all the flies. See, lesson number one. See, this is my first time, like, really, you know, vlog, my, I'm new to this vlogging situation, so, you know, I gotta make sure, you know, no gnats flying around. I mean, some things you can't help. I got plants in my house, y'all gonna see. So you may see a gnat or two or a big fly because the screen, the fly gonna come through the top of the crack of the screen, which I cannot stand. You know what? And flies. You know, you know we don't can't stand in flies. But anyway, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. That's why I'm about to get in this kitchen. As you can see from behind me, it's a lot going on. I got corn here. I got dishes I need to wash. I need to move my corn away from this stuff. But I got a counter to clean. I got stuff over there because I was trying to organize some stuff. I got things going on. And y'all, check this out. I'm going to get back to talking to y'all. But let me, while well, I got this on my thoughts right now, who remember this? You. You who? You, this is good. Like, I was thirsty. I'm looking in the refrigerator. I'm on the water. Ain't nothing else. I'm supposed to be going to the grocery store. There was you who's my baby you who's. I'm drinking my baby you's. But ooh, you who. Ooh. It's like a chocolate tree. No wonder she like these you who's. Ooh, you who. This is so good. Yeah, I don't normally drink up my baby drinks. Ooh, but today, today, this is my off day, y'all. So I get to chill with y'all for a minute, get in here, do some cleaning, try and kill this fly that's floating around. I cannot, I, I cannot right now with that fly. Um, Show y'all a little something, talk to y'all about a little something. I got some uh, shout outs I want to give and say to you guys. I appreciate you guys that have been rocking with me. Um, you know, stay rocking with your girl. I'm going to make it do what it do. You know, it's real life here. We, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is what it is. What you see is what you get. It's me. Sometimes I'm up. Sometimes I'm down. Sometimes I'm happy. Sometimes, you know, we women, we got emotions, you know, and it's okay. It's okay, you know, it's okay to have emotions, especially now, especially now. We got a right to have emotions. We got a right to have feelings, but it's up to you how you control those emotions and those feelings. Do you go big ham, big crazy, or do you just sit back and say, no, I'm not going to take it no more. That's enough. That's it. I got to go. Take your sip out take yourself out of the situation you know that's how you that's how you remedy a situation i found out in you know me so far the years that i've been living how to remedy a situation i just take myself out of the situation guess what situation gone you know situation gone as far as situations with people now situations with your bills and things like that and car notes and things no you can't just take yourself out of that situation unless you never you know start that situation in the first place never get a car you know get a car with a car note if you don't want a car note but as far as people and how people react to you and how you react to them you know you can take yourself out of that situation you know it's not actually what they do to you is at the end of the day, how are you going to respond? Okay, so I'm going to leave that at that. But let me get into some, wait, let me get my yoo Y'all, I need energy. I ain't had no vitamins. I ain't had nothing. I just turned on this camera. Uh, oh, my God. I need energy. I need energy. I have to keep some energy. At my age, I need to keep some 
keep some energy girl why my boobs look extra big okay so y'all i got on a waist trainer let me say that first of all my you know in the house waist trainer because your girl trying to <laughs> snatch everything that's supposed to be <laughs> snatched can y'all see I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the camera i'm gonna move it i'm gonna move it back y'all can't see but i'm trying to <laughs> Snatch everything that need to be snatched up in here. Snatch up this kitchen. Snatch up everything. So, yeah. So, y'all going to watch me do a little something, something. We're going to talk about some things. Like I said, y'all comment down below. Let me know what you want to talk about. Like I said, if this is your first time watching this video, my name is Belina B. I do vlogging. You're going to see my life. You're going to see me. You're going to see my baby. I'm a mother starting over. I have a whole 11-year-old. Oh, it's work. I already have five sons, but my sons are grown, you know, working, doing their thing, you know, living their life. And here I am starting over again, all over again. So this is my story. This is my life. This is me. This is me starting over from scratch. It's how I go sometimes. But I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed and highly favored every day, every day by my creator. So... At the end of the day, you know, we do what we, we do what we do what we got to do. We make it happen as moms, and so that's why I wanted to come on this channel and you know just vlog, vlog my life, vlog my thing, talk to you guys. You know, just you know talk. Right now, we need someone to talk to. Women need someone to talk to. I mean, it's okay if you have a partner or man, and you know you can talk to him, but you can't talk to him like a like a girlfriend, like a sis, like an auntie, like, you know, you can't, you just can't. It's not the same. You know, we all need, a woman always needs someone feminine to talk to, another woman to talk to, you know? And so that can be us. That can be all of us, you know, each one teach one. That's my motto. I, I love that. I love that saying, each one teach one, what you know, you can teach me and what I know, I can teach you. You know how powerful that is. It's everybody just taught everyone's, everything's like everything your neighbor knew was all of a sudden in your brain and everything you knew was in your neighbor's brain. I'll be thinking like crazy like that, but just, just imagine and the knowledge was just passed on like that. Some type of way, just, I don't know, girl. I don't know. I don't know. Blame it on the coffee, blame it on whatever, but <laughs> I told y'all I can get to rambling. I can really get to rambling, but I'm gonna get to cleaning this stuff up first. I want to do some shout outs because I appreciate you guys. Let me see what I got going on here. What do we got going on here? Okay, first and another thing y'all need to know about me. Y'all gonna learn stuff by me piece by piece by piece by watching these vlogs. That's that's how you're gonna see. I'm kind of blind and I don't want to wear glasses, so. I look like a fool and, uh, wait, hold on, I need to wipe. I look like a fool because I don't want to, um, I don't want to wear glasses and I look crazy when I'm trying to read something or even at work, I don't wear glasses and it's hard for me to see the computer screen and I'm just blaring my eyes and trying to read and looking like I can't read, like trying to, you know, focus my eyeballs right y'all those of you who wear glasses y'all know what i'm talking about i've never experienced this like going blind situation that i'm going through right now it's crazy and i have to wear glasses and i don't i went and did a prescription and got some glasses never picked those glasses up so guess where these glasses came from and they cute though guess where you uh, comment down below if you can guess where these glasses came from really though like those of you who know no, those of you who don't, maybe you'll find out in the comments. But guess where these glasses came from? Okay, but let me get my shout outs before I forget. Okay, so um, I want to give a shout out to my girl Reese. Hey, Reese, how are you? Hey, Miss Reese, I appreciate you, girl, Queen Miss Reese Life. Go check out her video, Reese's Life. Thank you. She said my hair that day was good. It ain't good now, girl, but that day she was like, girl, that hair uh pineapples my girl pineapples hey babe yeah i agree with you pineapples thank you for commenting boo much love and respect go check out her um her channel pineapples channel please as well 
Surefire. Hey, my girl, Surefire. How are you, sweetheart? Hang. How are you hanging on in there? I said, I'm said i saying a prayer for all of you guys, okay? Okay, don't stress, babe. Like I told you, don't stress. You know, pray only. Make sure you take time for yourself, okay? Angela, you home decor girl, you got it. You got it. It's coming up. Stay tuned for the videos. It's going to be a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff uh, coming up, you guys, okay? Um, Shanika's Dream. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, Shanika. Hi, hon. Uh, check out her channel. Um, yeah, I appreciate you, girl. Thank you for the support, okay? I love uh, sending people to other people's channels. So y'all go check out these people's channel. These ladies have channels, you know, and these are um, with moms, you know, trying to make it happen, trying to do it in a positive way, in a right way, you know. Check them out. Everybody got their own way of doing things. We're not saying nobody's way perfect. We're just here to show people things. And, and, and to see and to pick up tips and to learn and to teach and to show things. That's what, you know, that's what I think it's about. If it's about something else, if it's about, if it's about, you know, um, doing whatever for a check, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, money's good. Oh, don't get it. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> money is always good. Wait, money's good. Don't get it twisted. But your self-respect, your dignity, uh, is that worth, you know, putting your kids out there like that, especially if you're doing it disrespectfully. There's a lot of mom channels that's not, and I appreciate those channels. And wait a minute, I have somebody else to say, uh, to give a shout out to y'all. Let's see what my blind self. Um, I had, oh yeah, LC. Thank you, LC, for that compliment. Thank you. So it always look nice. Sometimes I try, but keep watching. <laughs> keep watching. It's about to get real ugly up in here. It's about to get real ugly. Okay, and uh, Carol. Hey, Carol. Carol, um, Carol Joe. Is it Carol Joe? I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, sweetheart, Carol. I appreciate you, sweetheart. And everything you said is correct and spot on, but, you know, it is what it is. We got to pray for people sometime, y'all. And these times that we in right now, we need, we need to... Pray to our creator, whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in. Please go go pray. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for healing. We need healing around here. Point blank period. We need we need healing. Okay. And it's gonna, I'm gonna do shout outs, you know, periodically for you guys. You know, I just wanted to say that, you know, I appreciate you guys, all the guys, you guys I named, ones I didn't name. I appreciate you too. Comment down below so I know you there, so I'll comment, um, so I can reply. I do respond, uh, so I can shout you out in my video, so you know that I appreciate you, which I really do. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. I ain't gonna charge you nothing. Whatever you need to know, I'm not gonna charge you nothing. That ain't, that ain't this type of channel, you know. Even if I if I was to that level, that wouldn't be my type of channel, okay? It, it just wouldn't. It just wouldn't because everything that you want to know about YouTube is up free on YouTube anyway, right? Okay, so this is not going to be that type of channel. But it's getting hot in here, y'all. I'm going to uh, get started. I'm going to get started. Oh, it's a hot mess, y'all. So... I don't know why I got this horn here. Well, actually, my daughter had this horn here, which it should not be here. Let me move this off the rain. Y'all, I told y'all I got on my waist trainer. I went down to, I was wearing a size large waist trainer, whatever that was. I can't even remember. But now I got on the medium one. But it's making my boobs look, I don't mean to be feeling on myself. But y'all... But that, that waist, you know, it's it's getting snatched, though. Even when I take the waist trainer off, my waist is still flat. But, you know, I'm just going to keep going to the next level. Right now, I'm on the first notch of this waist trainer. Let me show y'all. It's just like this. This is the one I wear inside, indoors. I have one I wear outside. But, yeah, it's just snatching. It's snatching. It's that like rubbery type thing. So, you know, it's it's snatching, but it's snatching in all the right directions. Cause we got it's it's for me it's this. But um <laughs> yeah. Let me get to cleaning up so I can play music because I need music to clean up. Don't y'all need music to clean up? 
I could put my headphones on. I can do that. I hate when sticky stuff be in a sink. What pot scraper do y'all give me? You know who has actual good pot scrapers? Um, Marshalls and like TJ Maxx and Ross. Get you some pot scrapers from there. They have the good ones that last. Oh yeah, this contraption right here. Do y'all own one of these? But this one's by the brand Jolie. The uh, sink racks. Oh my God, you can lay your know, dishes on it like a drying rack. Well, that's what it is, a drying rack. But you can put your food, lay your food on top while they dry. Fruits and vegetables, you know, I just keep it clean. And the little suck of rolls. It just rolls right up. And they got them on Amazon, too, by a different brand, but the same thing. But I like these from Jolie. And I got this uh, for $12.99 or something like that at uh, Marshall's. Yeah, so. Real cheap. I'm going to get my pot right here. Okay. I cannot stand old food in the sink. Oh, man, that grosses me the heck out. I'm grossed out by things. I don't like to touch stuff. I, I'll throw the whole, I throw the whole rag away. I cannot. They, I tell them to rinse it out. Don't, I don't want to be wasteful, but rinse it out. It freaks me out. I got issues. <laughs> Y'all gonna see I got issues in real life over here. I'm not sugarcoating that, you know? Like I said, I'll show y'all what I want y'all to see, but I'm not sugarcoating that. Oh, y'all don't mind my blinds. New blinds, look. Proof is in the pudding. I got brand new blinds for this curtain right here and that one. Well, I gotta get that one, actually. But I actually was getting that one and ended up getting this one. So I was gonna get both, but I wanted to make sure and I didn't measure and I went off the top of my dome and you know, that was bad business, but yeah, so I got blinds. I'm just using this Target, um, I guess the Oven Up brand, it's the cleaner with bleach, just to clean out the sink real good. I need to take everything down. While I'm here, let me show y'all these. I use these mason jars as my dispensers. This is my soap dispenser, dispenser, which needs to be refilled. And this is the hand soap dispenser. And I just like them because they're glass. Like I, you know, I told you about my other video and how I feel about glass. Um, it's just that it's the whole, uh, as far as anything getting in and getting out, you know, for health reasons, beneficial reasons, sanitary reasons, also, the aesthetics of it is freaking cute. Look at that, two mason jars. Like, how cute is that? Like, I'm here for it. So I need to fill this up, which I do have soap. Well, I did have soap a second ago. So this, this YouTube stuff is real, right? It's real. You guys, I have soap. Oh, here it is. It's a different color. And little Miss Thing, she uses up all the dishwashers. I just bought this yesterday. Do you see? This was purchased yesterday. Is that wrong or what? Am I wrong? Am I tripping? Y'all tell me. I just brought this yesterday. Look at the soap. Like, look, I'm not using this anyway. See, that's why I don't like the containers because things like this happen. The little top, I just twisted. The little top came off. But when you're not using this product, you know, I'm not using that. So it really don't matter. But I do need to clean this jar off. It's looking a little ratchet right now. But I just refill up everything and I get rid of the container. You know, you see that? I get rid of the container. And I should have got the big one. But we won't work with what we got. Some is better than none. I normally have a backup. Y'all, I haven't had a chance to go to the store. I need to go to the store now and I don't, I don't feel like it. I, do, I got one day off. Working mom truth. Working mom truths right now. I got one day off. I need to get in here and clean my house, my room. I need to get ready for the next couple, you know, three work days that I'm working. You know, I just, I got to get it together, you know? Hold on, y'all. When I step away, y'all, I'm throwing something in the trash or, you know, I'm not trying to be rude to y'all. Y'all know I'll be right back to the camera. Um, but, yeah. Let me clean this off because this is looking a little peaky around the edges. And I don't want it to rust. That's the only thing with those 
metal tops is rusting now. You gotta worry about them rusting now. This one's doing good. It's not rusting or anything. I wonder if I can buy a pump. Yeah, I'm looking to getting the pump. Like, uh, but I like the aesthetics of the silver, you know? That's the whole point of it. If I would get white, a white pump, I don't think I would like it, you know, so much. Anyway, you guys, what's new with y'all? What's going on new with y'all? Let's, let's talk about something. What's going on new with y'all? As far as me, how y'all doing? Uh, any of you moms at work and gonna leave out the house? Well, how are you feeling about that? Are you nervous about that? You know, who's watching the children while, you know, who's watching the children while you at work? You know, how, how, how are you getting along? Me, when I'm at work, you know, I'm kind of okay, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm feeling some type of way. I'm yeah, I'm feeling some type of way about the about everything that's going on in the world. About I got too many issues for me and too many, you know, too many problems as far as what's going on in the world pertain to me because for one, I'm a woman, for two, I'm a black woman, for three, I'm a mom, you know. But you know, so many issues and things you know going on as far as what's going on in the world today was you know what's being relevant talking about not to mention all the other problems with the uh, babies homeschooling and uh just trying to survive trying to make it trying to make ends meet you know, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cent, like, <laughs> I hate to make it sound like a, you know, a nursery rhyme or whatever, but for real, real talk, it's like, you know, it's, it's real, it's real for everybody, even celebrities are feeling, you know, so just imagine how everyday, regular, degular, you know, your average Joe, everyday hard work and bust a bun, you know, not the CEO of the company, you know, or you know what I'm saying, just regular, you know, management position, whatever the case may be. Just imagine how they feel. Just imagine how the janitor feels. Just imagine, you know, unfortunately, how the teachers feel right now, okay? Just imagine. Can't know, but just imagine. It's just like, it's crazy. So, oh my God, y'all, this you who I can't, I hate to keep talking on it, but this you who is the truth. Comment down below, Jesus. Comment down below and subscribe because I like you. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God, this take you back to like childhood. Like, I don't know how long it's been since I had some chocolate milk. Like, I can tell you years and years of thousands of years ago. Like, thousands of years ago. 1,000, like, I can't, I ain't had no, y'all, I exaggerate stuff. That's another thing you gonna find out about me watching my channel i am a big exaggerator as far as time days just as far as like it could be something that happened yesterday or three days ago i'll be like you know nine ten days ago that's my thing nine ten days ago that happened you know I'm always extending the date on something or prolonging the date on something in a jokingly fashion, but it's just my style. It's just, it's just my way. Y'all, you'll see, you'll get to know me. I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm chill. I'm down to earth. Um, I'm just me. And I hope y'all watch me. I appreciate y'all for watching me. I appreciate y'all appreciate y'all for rolling with me 
And two, you guys, I like YouTube. Because guess what? YouTube will hold you accountable. You know that? YouTube will hold you accountable for your bull crap. And that's what's going on with a lot, 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 a lot of these vloggers. YouTube is holding them accountable. And they don't know how to act. Okay? YouTube, the subscribers and things, is holding people accountable. And, you know, people better get it together. But, um... I'm going to get back to what I'm doing. See, I'll stop and talk to y'all, and I'll be like, mm, 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 mm. Let me get to doing this. I'll be back to y'all. All right, y'all. I'm back, okay? So I got the Fabuloso, a little bit of Fabuloso. I'm about to pour some of this down the garbage disposal. I normally put fresh lemons, uh, slices in the garbage disposal and let it set. You know, let the water run and you know, wash my dishes and everything while I'm washing, you know, while lemon, you know, sits in there. And then I take the, um, you know, just for the freshness and the, it's just that smell coming, you know, up through the garbage disposal. It's refreshing. And then I put some Fabuloso in there as well. I just pour some in the sink because I'm going to use a little bit of this to clean with too. Yeah, I need my cleaning supplies. I need all that. So you guys will see all that. Um, yeah, you guys will be seeing all that. Oh, I do have something to show y'all. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I couldn't even get out. I like gadgets. This is the Cuisinart, the Smart Stick Variable Speed Hand Blender. Mind you, I got a food processor and a, a blender right there by KitchenAid next to the Carrick. So I already got those three appliances right there. And this is a small kitchen. I'll show y'all the kitchen when it's cleaned. Uh, okay, when it's all the way clean. But uh, yeah, so this is a, and it it's the hand mixer and it comes with these attachments. And look at this, this is the, you can make use this as a container or it's the holder for the attachments. And you know, when you make soups and you wanna like puree it or you know, blend it up a little bit, you know, have it more soupy and, you know, all, all sorts of things. It blends, it whips, so you can use it like when you're making cakes. So even though I have the, um, oh, I don't have what I want to get. This is a picture of what I'm about to get. I'm getting this KitchenAid mixer. It's a little pricey, 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 but I like the stainless steel look of it and it matches and I just need a hand mixer. I know I'm not Betty Crocker like that. I'm not a baker like that really, but I need it. I deserve it. I work hard. You know, if I, Christmas is coming, Christmas to myself will be that mixer. Okay. But I have this for now and I do have a food processor and a blender already. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I got it from Costco and it was on sale. I don't know. It wasn't no more than $40, but it's still in a box still because I'm debating. Well, it's still in a box still because I'm a, pro a really, really bad procrastinator. But it's still in a box because I'm um, too, I'm debating if I'm, if I need this since I'm going to get, I'm going to get the mixer. What do y'all think? I don't know. It's, it's neat how it is and how it has that where you can store it in a container like that and pour things out of the sprout. So it's also storage. And it's nice and stainless steel and you just like store it on the counter like that. So cute. Just like that. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm buying bags of stuff and I don't know. Oh, shoot. Y'all. Mm-mm-mm. That's how you know you're a hoarder. That's what I was just about to say. That's how you know you're a hoarder. Because look what I found. And it's been in here. He's been sitting in this bag over here for about a good two, a good two, three weeks. My beautiful glasses. Y'all look at my glasses. Oh my God. I just throw that right there. Look at how pretty. You see it? And these are handmade in Italy. And these were from uh, Home Goods. And you guys, I came up. Do you see that? You ain't got to break the bank. Do you see that price? I ain't even going to say it out loud. You better pay attention. 
Do you see that price? Okay. 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 <laughs> did you see the price? You see how pretty this glass is? But did you see the price? No, it ain't 99 cent store prices, but, and it's a name brand, and it's made in Italy, for real, for real, made in Italy, not uh, for play, for play on Italy Street or Italia, at Italia's house, no, really made in Italy. So, and they are freaking adorable. I'm obsessed with these already. I, I would have been, oh, well, I couldn't have been too much obsessed because they were still in the bag. But, you know, I like goldy, rose goldy, anything. Let me show y'all. Can y'all see? Oh, y'all can't even see this cabinet from here. Can you see? Oh, you can't. You only can see these two. I'm going to show y'all the cabinet. These are, this is the white part of my, the cabinet. But up there is rose gold. Everything up top is rose gold. I have to show y'all later because I'm not moving the camera right now. And this is a vlog, okay? So I need to take all these glasses out of here. I got four of them, you guys. I probably feel rambling of the paper. But yeah, I got four of these glasses. Cute as ever. I gotta wash the sticker off. And oh, I got a tip for y'all. See, you watch me, you're gonna learn some things. Stickers and things like that that won't come off of plastics and things like that. This sticker will pretty much come off of glass fairly easy. That's why I love glass because you really don't have no problem with, you know, taking stickers off of glass. But if you do, this is your, this is your man right here. This is your man. That goo gone takes off any adhesive, any gooky, ooky, sticky, ooky, yucky. Get, your, get yourself, get yourself a bottle of goo gone. Not sponsored, but it works. Okay, that's gonna be my model. Not sponsored, but it works. Not sponsored, but it works. Yes, it does. Get you some Google. No, I got two, two many things, too many things. I mean, this, this is mo dishes. I don't even know why I'm gonna put these dishes. But honestly, tell you the truth, I don't have no room for them. But guess what? Guess what we as women do? We do what? We make room. We make room for what we want, right? You gotta make room. Make room for self. While you making room for them dishes, make room for self. While you making room for them containers, make room for self. While you making room for that man, make room for self. Okay? While you making room for them babies, make room for self. Okay? And this one. See, I'm so slow. I be in the kitchen all day messing with me, y'all talking with y'all. I will never get How do vloggers get anything done? No wonder they just videotape themselves just cleaning up and speed it up, you know, because they would never get nothing done. That'd probably take them all day because they ain't stopping to talk to y'all and tell y'all nothing. And that's the fourth one. So I got four of those. I think that should be enough to have four. Oh, and look at this. A wine stopper. And it isn't the cutest. It's a bow. And this was from Home Goods too. I forgot all about this was in there. And look, y'all. Oh my God. And it's gonna look so cute in a little wine bottle, holiday time. When I wanna sip my wezine. Wezine. What the hell? My wine. Yeah. Okay. That part. Okay. So I'ma um finish doing a little bit of this, straighten up, come back with y'all with something I want to show y'all so I can get something done. Because if I sit on here and blabber with y'all, which y'all know I can do, I will be here forever, okay? So y'all stay tuned. Okay, that was an epic fail. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I dropped, dropped the whole deal. I told you I'm clumsy. This is real life. Let me turn this word off. But I got this this uh, spoon holder, marble spoon holder from Home Goods. And then I picked up the um, the rolling pin from Home Goods on a whole different year as well. Like I had this first, and then I ran across this. So you can make things, you know, mix and match, mix and match stones and make them work. You know, like I like stones, I like textures, I like woods. Now, you know, woods is a thing, so I'm all for a good, you know, wood. Um, glass like i said everything in glass drawers it just looks better and like i said you don't have to uh spend a lot of money on glass like this one i got this one right here with my uh lasagna noodles in it i got this one from um ikea 
Yeah, Ikea is another place. Ooh, don't sleep on Ikea. Ikea, uh, the one closest to me is in Carson. For those of you who don't know, it's, it's not that far, but it's a distance. It's a drive. And then to deal with Ikea, you know, and the lines now, they be outside. But it's not that bad. They, they move their line pretty fast. But, yeah, that was like, I don't know how much that jar was. Um, like, no more than $7, if that, from Ikea. So I grabbed it out. Yeah. And then this one with my wheat pasta. This is whole wheat pasta in here. And I like the swirly, the texture of this one. You know, they don't have to be the same. They don't have to be the same glass containers to look good. These are all different. You know, they're the same size. So I'm still getting the aesthetics of the same size, but you know, they're different shapes. This one is spiral. You know, this one is just smooth with a square top. And then this one has a hold together white top, which matches with, you know, these. So you just coordinate and make it work. You know, my mortar, it doesn't have to match. It actually matches with the whole wheat noodles. But my kitchen, you know, the cabinets, as you can see right here, a piece of the cabinet is brown. And then I have my, um, this is grape tea oil. My oil. I can't live without my oils. I'm going to dry these off. And this is my olive oil one. Wipe. Wipe them down a little bit. And like I said, that's nothing but what's bleach on the rag. The rag is clean. Trust me, I'm 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 germaphobic. <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. I gotta keep coming over here because I gotta get stuff. I could I could bring the camera and tw tw twist the camera and all that. I gotta learn how to do all that, y'all. So I'm gonna have to edit in different spots and areas until I I get it together. I need to get whatever it is you hold the. Um, Hold the camera well and walk around with but still be able to you know, vlog real good but i'm gonna come back and show y'all after i get these dishes washed up i'll be right back with you guys okay but this is how this goes like that and i still haven't cleaned out the sink good yet but i still have dishes to wash I just wanted to wipe it down some. And you guys, this is apartment is um, an older building. So it doesn't have a modern sink. The, um, what do you call this? It doesn't have a modern uh, faucet. It has a regular, you know, the regular one. And I want the one that comes up and because the sink is so small and I need that space. But, you know, you make do with what you got. Like I said, you do, you do, you use with what you got and you make do with what you got and you make what you got, make it a home for you. So I'm going to come back after I get these dishes washed so I can start cooking, so I can start cleaning out this drawer. I got to get ready for work. I have a few things to do. Um, I got a letter to write to. I have some things to do, so I'll come back, you guys. All right, y'all, I came back. Look, I want to show y'all my H&M scarf. I got it from H&M, y'all. It's big, but look at the color. It's The lighting ain't doing it. It's that, that bright. It's not, I don't know. Can y'all see the color? It's that pretty, like, bright green, like, on chocolate skin, though. You know, on chocolate skin, this color is life. You know, you could wrap it around with your jacket. It's nice and big and, you know, y'all yeah, got on booty shorts. I'm in the house. I'm in my house, you know. We're going to keep this family, family, uh, you know, family channel. But, yeah. I like this. I like the color though. Y'all see that? And it's about to get a little chilly when I don't want nothing heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, I'm just with my jacket and you know, my little work clothes. I like it. I was supposed to be doing something. I'm on 
two diets, y'all. No, I don't do diets. I do not do diets. I eat when I'm hungry, and I eat till I'm full. I stop. I never. I'm a nibbler. I eat little, 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 little portions. I'm starting to really understand, understand food and understand. I'm just starting to understand. But yeah, I wanted to show y'all my little scarf. It's so, it's so cute. The color. No, I can't see the color really that good. I guess it's showing. It's really pretty though. Oh my God, I like it and it's soft. I had got a, a big scarf like this, but it was a plaid gray one. It's in the closet and I need to pull it out. And I got it from New York, from the H&M in New York. And it's nice. So I was like, let me get this one. But the one I got from New York was bigger than this. It's like a blanket. And I really like that one. So I need to find that in my closet. Uh, hopefully it's in my better be in my closet. And yeah, so this one. I got two. So I'll be back. I just wanted to show y'all that. I'm going to put this up. I'm gonna take all these and rewash them. That's what I do. Rewash stuff that's already clean to uh, take up more time. Also, I forgot to show you is this little cutie. Look at it. It look like one of my uh, wig hairs. So this is a duster with a wooden handle, and I also got it from, from Home Goods. But it's so fluffy, and you can take it off and wash it. So I can dust the living room and. You know, dust when you just, I don't know. I like to clean versus dust, but this was cute. So this was something. See, this is the kind of stuff I do. I can't, I need to stop, but I'm keeping it because it's, it's wooden and I'm just doing, I'm just filling wood right now and I'm just loving it. How you get this off? I don't want to, okay, there we go. Yeah, and it's so, it's fluffy, like, oh my God, look at her. And it's removing dust. <laughs> no. Oh my God, it's so fluffy and cute, though. It's like a, oh, look at that. It's really fluffy and cute. Who is this by? This is by the brand Big R. So cute. Look at that. Wooden handle, I love it. It's detachable. You can take it off and wash it. So get it sterilized. I love it. Let me throw this in the trash, you guys. Yeah. And I'm going to put this in the bottom. I, I love a duster. Look, you guys. I'm going to tell you how 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 housewifey I am. Because I got a real feather duster, okay? You know the chicks with the feather dusters. You got to... <laughs> They know what they're talking about. You should see a chick with a, a old school feather duster. Look at that, real feathers. Lord have mercy, what bird? I don't even like me. 
And I got a feather duster. Oh, it's going to make me cry. No, but this was before then. This was before then, but this is a feather duster. And oh my God, I love it. So now I got both. See, this is what I do. Got two of them now. Y'all help me and pray for me. Who else do this kind of stuff? Help me and pray for me, y'all. I'm going to come back in a minute. So you see, I have all this here. Here's the glass. I washed it. I got my measuring. I keep my measuring. My gold. Sorry for the loud banging now. Real life. <laughs> That's my son coming in. Hi, son. How's work? Hey, we got every light on in the city in here. You said I got every light on in the city in here. I got the ring light on because I'm videoing. Why? What light you see? <laughs> he said, like, he paying the bill. Well, I was wasting electricity. Well, don't you turn no lights on in your room. Your room. How about that? Okay. Kids, y'all hear that? Okay. So, like I said, you guys, before I was so <laughs> rudely interrupted, well, not rudely, but uh, you know better. But y'all see, so I washed this. I'm sorry for uh, shaking that. But I washed this. It's clean. So now what I do is I place the items in there. And I'll place the rose gold. Here, I'll place the big items to the back. This needs to wait. This needs to be in back. This needs to be in back. This one definitely needs to be uh, this one. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? It's like Tetris doing this, y'all. <laughs> Well, you gotta get everything in. I don't put I don't put my uh my rose gold can up there in there. It's so cute. Yeah, I love rose gold. Look at this. I got a gold. This is the by Chrissy Teigen. You know, John's the legend wife, the supermodel. This is her her brand, Chrissy Teigen. And this is at Target. This is an ice cream scooper. I needed one. So I just said, why not get a gold one? I love gold, rose gold. Get what makes you happy, you know? Life is too short sometimes not to, you know? So I put this in like that. You see how it's coming together? And I kind of hold it to steady everything up. Then I start putting my wooden spoons in it, in the middle right there. And that props that up like that. Oh, I already put my new ones in. You guys, I'm forgetting this whole video was kind of dedicated to was well, not dedicated to but we did talk about it so i want to stick these i'll probably stick these behind my wooden ones because these are big and i just stick them in there together so they can and i'm a spatula fit right there my wooden ones in front still arrange them in order to usage there like that oh, okay you see how that looks sit my ladle up these big ones in the back like i said this is like tetris but when it's done it's cute it's kind of like a bouquet of utensils so to speak you know how many of y'all do this Give this video a thumbs up if you organize some type of jar or do you just throw them in there? I just like it when they're organized in there. I told y'all I got issues. My issues is my personal issues. Don't come for me. I told y'all I got issues. This one I want it over here because it's black and rose gold and it's big and sturdy. And then I have my little mini. I have another one of these that's a little bit bigger. Where is it? They go right in the front popped out like that, but then I have this wooden flowered spatula that goes in there. I got three spatulas. I have the white one, this one, and that one. Oh, that's too many spatulas, so this one's going to have to come out. I'd rather have this 
I rather have this print spatula in there. It's more, you know, wooden themed and this is white. I already got enough white in there. So I like that one. So we'll put this one away for holidays or, you know, for decorating. I might decorate and leave some utensils out in something, you know, to make a look. So we won't be getting rid of that. We'll just put it in a drawer. Okay, this goes in a drawer. So I just wanted to show you guys how the utensil bouquet came out, so to speak. Not a bouquet, but you get it. And this is my dish rack, which I love this wooden dish rack. And I'm about to show you guys, I'm about to make some corn. How I um, roast corn in the oven with Parmesan cheese, butter, salt and pepper, red chili flakes. You'll see. Stay tuned. Hold on if you want to see that. All right, guys. I don't know if y'all had a good angle. Y'all know I'm, I'm new to this, but I take the corn. My hands are clean. Make sure your hands are clean. I butter it up. And Sienna's here. Say hi, Sienna. Just say hi. Hi. Hey, you know, camera. Grab the foil. Hold the foil in the camera so they can see what... Uh, type of foil I use. I use the sheets for this. The foil sheets, they're individual. Open the pack up for me, babe. So she's going to open that, and I'm going to finish buttering. I have four corns. She's my little assistant right now. Usually she would do this because, you know, the best of stuff. This is fun for kids. So, And I'm just using a, a half a stick of butter. Get the butter so you, I can show them what uh, type of butter I'm using. She's such a great assistant when she wants to be. But yeah. Uh, and then I get the other piece and I butter that up. And yes, this is a lot of butter. This is this is kind of like the, uh, as we call it, the Hispanic corn or the Mexican corn. I don't know if that's politically correct to call it that, but that's who I always see making it and selling it. And it's good. Um, so, yeah. And it's fresh corn, of course. And I love fresh corn. I love fresh vegetables, period. Like I told y'all, that's what I eat is vegetables. So, yeah. So, you make sure it's all butter, 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 buttered everywhere. Okay. And I'm about to wash my hands. See, I'm to give me the salt. Uh, glass salt, the pepper, the, and the paprika, the red, oh, careful with that light. Just open it, open it. Open the other one first. Open, I forgot that that light is up there for you guys to see. Uh, it's really, it's really. It's really okay. okay, let me wash my hands. I believe I got all of this soaked up oh that's gonna be good i don't even need no more butter and the butter that i use wait let me wash my hands you guys that's just, uh... all right so the butter that i use is this unsalted pasteurized butter from Vital Farms, and this is good, good stuff. Put that back and put this back. You only need a little of this butter. This butter costs a pretty penny. This is not the everyday butter. I buy, I'll buy that other butter for when they want to just run through butter like they have no, no, no home training. Butter is expensive, you guys. Depending on what you get, I'm not talking about the 99 cent imperial butter. I'm talking about real butter. See, I mean, you can't put this on there. Oh, okay. Hi guys. <laughs> she said hi guys. Do you know where my other rose go little thing like this is? The big one? The mini one. I see the big one is over there. I have some of these measuring cups which I use for my salt. This is the salt. Y'all well she got pepper in. That's not bugs. My daughter got pepper in there and you see I'm almost out of salt. This container. Wow. Wait, is the Dodgers playing, y'all? They must have just did something because my neighbors just yet let out a loud scream that scared the heck out of me. Okay, so are they winning or losing, y'all? I hope they're winning. That's, they better win. 
Oh, that sound. It said, he said, dang, it don't sound too good. But anyway, I take the salt. This is a teaspoon. So I take the salt and I shake it like this. And what I love about pouring my seasonings out like this is I get to know how many, how much I'm actually putting on my food versus if I was using, uh, what do you call that? If I was using something that I'd have to shake it out, this way I can actually see how much salt I'm putting. I know how much salt I'm putting. So then I will flip them over and do the same. I love corn. Yeah, we love, especially fresh corn. This is the way to go. And this is something easy, and you can do it with the kids. It's fun. I'm just trying to get it over with so we can eat. I actually ended up ordering, we we're going to order a veggie pizza to go with this. And that's going to be dinner. Like, this is one of them days. Like, I didn't have time to meal prep. My grandbaby came over today, which was a blessing. My grandbaby is so cute, guys. I'm going to put a picture up. So freaking adorable. Okay, look at this. Why is there a spoon in here? Oh, me. Me today. Okay. See, I was about to blame her. That's me. I can admit when I'm wrong. That's, that's the stuff I don't like, and I did. Okay. So then you put the pepper, and we like the pepper, you know. But I'm going to put some uh, red pepper, too, so we spread this out. Turn it, spread it. Crushed red peppers. You want crushed red pepper or paprika? Red peppers. I think paprika would be better. I always have red pepper. Okay, give me crushed red pepper flakes. She says she wants it with red pepper flakes. I mean, you can have it how you want to have it. We're going to add a little kick of spice. She's getting that seasoning. So yeah, what can you, you can do this how you want to do it. You can put uh you can just put salt, pepper, and leave it. You can put mayonnaise, you know. I don't know about putting mayonnaise in the oven. I don't like the ones with mayonnaise on it though. I, I'm not a mayonnaise fan. See, I'm gonna need four of these. You got four, yeah, four um corn. I need four foils. So the rare pepper flakes. I'm gonna spread it on there, and that's gonna give it a little kick of, you know. Look at that. That looks so oh, good. Now watch out. Watch when you drop it. And you can always rub it around. Massage everything in. You know. Get it, get it in there good. And this is good. And see, so you can, you can, I like my seasoning like this because I can measure exactly how much I want. You know. I don't want it too spicy. I think that's enough. Oh, it's too spicy. I know some of us like a little heat up more than others. We're going to have pizza. and That's enough heat. Okay, rinse that off. Now let me wash my hands because I got to pour the Parmesan. In which I should probably put the corn with fresh, um, what was I going to say, with fresh Parmesan. It will taste better. And see, my little drawers, I love it. I need to wash them off. Easy to wash off. So, yeah, I would suggest fresh Parmesan. This is natural shredded Parmesan. Uh, but I, you can even get the kind you shred yourself. But I'm going to use two. I'm going to use the shredded, uh, natural shredded, and I'm going to use the grated Parmesan cheese. So, you're going to get a mix of both on there. And I'll just shake it. Go ham. Don't be stingy with the cheesy. Don't be stingy. And this is the real Parmesan right here. It's going to be on there and make it, you know, that when that cheese melts on there, it's going to be so good. Ain't it, Sienna? Yes. Look, she can't wait to eat. I love my one, um, mayo. She likes mayo. I don't. Why is the top off of this? What are y'all be doing? Oh, you just opened it. Yeah. Okay. But well, we're gonna we're not gonna pour it out. We're gonna shift it out like this. So I'm using the you know the circle part, and I'm just shaking it on there. And look how it crumbles. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Smash it on there, guys, so it can stick like a paste. That's what you want it to stick like a paste. 
You see there, it's messy. Like I said, it's fun for kids, but it's not that messy. We keeping it contained in this, you know, this glass and that's all you're gonna have to wash is a, a glass. Yeah, you generously go like that. That's enough. If you want more red pepper flakes, whatever, I think this is this is pretty good. So then you'll take this foil. Actually, we'll spray it with uh, the non-cooked spray, Sienna. Oh. That's okay. I'm, I'm gonna just roll them. You don't even have to do it. Move the seasoning for me, though. So I'm gonna move this up the way, and I'm gonna just lay it right here. You guys can see how I, I just roll it. So I take one and I gotta wash my hands. Hold on, guys. I constantly wash my hands. That's what I'm good already. Yeah, it smells so good. It does smell good. Okay, so wash my hands and then I, I roll it under. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And I seal the end. That's one. Take another one. Put it, put it on there. And I roll it. Keep one. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And I close it. What's done? $21. Okay. He's telling me the pizza is $21. That ain't bad. We're getting the one pizza. Pizza Hut, one pizza, half veggie, half meat. I hope they don't get no meat on. I don't even know why I'm getting them together. I'm being cheap. But I ain't trying to buy two pizzas tonight. Now that we eat pizza like that, it's, I don't. But, oh, and this this one, the last one, gonna have all the little extras. I want that one. I should have sprinkled more. I could have sprinkled more in the foil. You know, a little extra. But it's okay. Then just roll it up, make sure everything gets in there. Let me wash my hands again. A little bit of that stuff on there. Mama, you should show them how you tray. make vegan enchiladas. Yeah, I have to make enchiladas for my son. It's his birthday and he wants enchiladas, so I'm going to make those. Give me the pan out, out of the bottom of the uh, stove. Yeah, and I'm going to just take this pan right here. So I'm gonna take this pan and just lay the corn on there, like so, like so, just like that, and they go in the oven. I'm gonna put them for uh, 425 for 20 minutes or 450 for 20 minutes or something like that until I feel they like you know, ready and juicy. They can sit for a while. And, uh, yeah, and that, you'll see when I open them. Actually, my bad, the oven is on broil. I think I'm gonna put it on broil, leave it on broil, and let them cook like that, okay? I want them kind of roasted. Cooking.